Back on TYT Sports, uh, Jason and Brett here with you. So, uh, Brett, I have to enlighten you on this because I had the whitest sports argument in the history of sports oh arguments. Oh, God, I can't wait. Francis and I were trash talking ahead of the Ryder Cup. Hey, <laughs> like Ryder Cup, shit. genuinely the, the most entertaining golf event, period. Oh, it's not even close. Like, it's, yes. And you don't think going into it, you remember previous Ryder Cups and these amazing moments that happened during mm -hmm. them. But going into the next Ryder Cup, you're like, ah, I probably am overplaying it in my mind how exciting it was last time. But this time, it was just so amazing. Such great moments. And everyone, match play adds an extra element to it. Of course. It. You so, love it. First of all, the U.S. winning was such a good thing. Because, yeah. uh, for one, we've won three of the last 11 Ryder Cups. We lost eight of the previous 10. So that's not good. And it's our first since 2008. Uh, we're going to talk about the one of the best things in the Ryder Cup, one of the best things in golf, right? Uh, and that is Paulina Kretzky. Good because Lord. for one, we're going to throw you up some pictures here, uh, and you can see like she's one with all the golfers. She's married to Dustin Johnson. Mm -hmm. um, which, by the way, going back to the Dustin Johnson thing, I find it amazing because what are you supposed to like, Paulina? By the way, Paulina Kretzky and her friends. Like, Good so, God! Like when like it's okay for her to say like hashtag squad. Because that's a great squad. It's an amazing squad. It's, I'm like, this is great. Well, this is with like Tiger, where she's like respect to one of the greatest. Here's the thing: one is, of your uh, alumna, one of your co-alumnus. Right. Yes. Yeah. Tiger. <laughs> Here's this is. Uh, we're going too fast. <laughs> Go back. Go back. Tiger. This is fantastic because when you think about Ryder Cup like after party celebrations, you think a lot. Like last year, Rory McIlroy wore a orange wig and no <laughs> shirt, and it was just so odd. Right. Here's Tiger being like, uh, I'm not allowed to be uh, enjoying myself here. Uh, <laughs> just gonna have a Coca Cola and uh, be near Paulina. I get there's probably the no days. alcohol on that. I don't know. There's I don't know. I, I was listening to, to <laughs> Rappaport on the, on the Bill Simmons show, and he was just like, Go get it! Go get it, Tiger! You go get some. You're allowed. You're allowed. No one knows. No one thinks you're a family man. Just go out there and be crazy. <laughs> he was and better I at agree. golf when he did that. Yes. Be yourself. Do your thing. So the well, the crazy thing with like that picture with Tiger too, it's like he's also wearing like the red Nike golf polo and like Nike now doesn't even make any. They make the shirts still. Oh really? But like they discontinued uh, all their golf equipment. Right. Which is amazing because he built this whole thing up and it's still like one of the number one selling ones. That's with uh, Phil Mickelson. Philly gets crazy, by the way. Philly and his wife, I don't know if it was ever proven to be true, but like this swinger, you know. So I heard about the swingers thing. On top of that, like Phil Mickelson, I know a lot about golf because I love golf. Uh, and, one of the, and we don't talk about it that much. But one of the crazy things with Phil Mickelson is that he's like the best money golf player like in the world, in the history of like playing for cash outside <laughs> of a tournament. So like Tuesdays when they do like the playthroughs, they always play – like for money, and these guys are doing it like as practice rounds, like thousand dollars a hole. Yes, it's like nothing. And supposedly, from like multiple like ripples through like the golf world, I've seen it on the golf channel. It's like Rick Riley used to write about it. Like Phil Mickelson doesn't lose when there's money from other golfers in the line, but in the tournaments, he's like the notorious second place finisher. Yes, not to mention all the side effects he must be suffering because all I see is Phil Mickel during football games, Phil Mickelson arthritis Enbril commercials. <laughs> Where he's like going to pick, like he's picking up a ball and suddenly he's picking up his kid. And it's just it's like, like a nice montage. Yeah, his, his butt's falling out his ass because he's got, <laughs> you know, I don't know. It's because he has psoriatic arthritis. I don't know. His, Some weird stuff. His, I don't know how that's possible. His butt's falling out his ass? Yeah, Is I don't know. I, I'm just citing the side effects of Enbril or Olestra. I forget which one he does. I think it's Enbril. Um, Fascinating. More, uh, so <sighs> with the Rory. loser, Rory McIlroy can't even be mad yeah. because he's with Paulina Gretzky. She's amazing. And then She's there was the great uh, one. a TMZ Sports aptly naming, I think the next one, Baywatch. Like Where is it? B A E Watch. Baywatch. She's I don't on the right. even know. In I really wanted to kill a sunrise now. In the wake of the Billy Bush thing, I don't know how to act right now. <laughs> like I don't know what the appropriate thing is to go is like say it's it is another well, uh, the Eagles. I love the it's band. Very, the it's Eagles. very PC. It's a one piece. It's oh, acceptable I love it. course of like across America. Here's the thing: is like golf life is the best life. It is. You're just traveling around, and for him, it's like really. Dustin Stress Johnson. For Dustin, it's yeah. really stressful, but, you know, by nature, is talking about how Phil Mickelson plays for money and right, likes right. to take down that cash. Like, super competitive individuals. Right. On top of it, so 
with the Ryder Cup, I make this point every time I talk about the Ryder Cup, like there's articles you can read and stories, again, like Rick Riley, who's your caddy type of thing, where guys that play on a team setting in golf because they're never used to that are like, like Lee Westwood puking before the Ryder Cup starts because they're like, if I mess up, it's not just on me, it's on Europe. Yes. <laughs> and that's like, a, to them, it's a huge deal. And I can't imagine like, now arriving to the tee box, like, <laughs> just like a little oh bit of God. throw up, like right before he tees off. Like, I just can't see it that way. To me, it's not like the Super Bowl, but to these guys, it is. But and I I'm, love I love how the the part, the after party of the Ryder Cup is so traditional. Well, well, you would think, my mental image of it is the, like, what they do with Billy Madison when he first shows up and Shooter McGavin, like, tells mm-hmm. him about the 19th hole. And like the whole, like they're all having drinks. They're all in like suits and oh, ties. Oh, and it's a bunch of like Scotsmen and Irishmen and English it's a dudes who are just white getting people. It's getting all it is. Rah. It's country club white people. That's what they were making fun of, at least in Billy Madison. Um, but in terms of Paulina Gretzky, oh my God, it's not even fair. I think that's not even her. That's one of her. That's friends. like her pal. That's they're her in squad. Cabo on a vacation. This is what's wrong with it. This is what Instagram's for is to make me feel bad for not being there. I find this to be like they have beef sliders, tacos, chicken, and they have fish quesadillas. I just think like that type of menu doesn't make much sense. Like, is it a taco of chicken? Nothing makes sense. Tacos? It's the, the normal laws don't apply there. But so the amazing thing about Dustin Johnson is he putted away like the U.S. Open two years ago. Yeah. To which like, how do you go home to your wife or like your father-in-law and go, you've never missed a clutched opportunity like ever. I'm sure he had. <laughs> like, you're the and greatest sure hockey like, player of oh, all sorry, time. Oh, sorry, it was an $18 million purse, so instead of 2.1, you took home 1.4. Right, that's true, that's true. That's all right. Dude. I don't know, if you're going to watch one, there's just one amazing moment in time at the after party for the for the Ryder Cup. There's an interview with Jamie Donaldson, like, after. <laughs> like, the day after. About, yeah. And he's just, like, so wrecked. He's yeah. wearing, he's, like, sunglasses sitting, on, right? and yeah. he's got, like, this yellow hoodie. <laughs> And they ask, has it sunk in yet? And he just goes, I don't know, I'm still drunk. (laughs) (laughs) So good. Gotta love the Ryder Cup. That's one of those things that you can, because there's always like someone who, it's their first time on the Ryder Cup and they have to Mm -hmm. step up or they don't. And there's so much, it's like you're managing like your pitching staff, who are your, and your your lineups to see who's matching up against who. It's amazing. And all that extra stuff that goes into it, it it was so awesome to watch that. Because football was on the same day. And I was watching the Ryder Cup. And that right. says something. Because we're honestly, could we get? Uh, that's why I make make the joke with France. It's like the whitest sports argument in history. So who's going to win the <laughs> Ryder Cup? It's true. Comment below. Uh, what do you think of? I guess Paulina Gretzky. I mean, I'm not sure if you can say anything bad about her. Uh, and on top of that, the Ryder Cup, golf hangovers. Are you a golfer? Do you get drunk after you play with the team? I was seventh or ninth in the Mission League. I don't remember. Did you? So, I yeah, did golf in high school. Pretty average. Comment below. Thank you.